Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter and um, I was actually um, checking through some stuff and I was uh, seeing there's a problem going on with my Osmo Pocket and what my Osmo Pocket was doing is that uh, well the gimbal was not centering it properly whenever I used to take out it used to turn on the other way as you can see on this small slide I'm demonstrating right now so um, there is a way to store your gimbal and there is a way that uh, you can solve this problem by recentering your gimbal okay so without further ado we are going to go ahead and we are going to check how we can actually do a gimbal calibration it's a very simple method but lots of i've seen a lot of people all the time whenever they have gimbals they do not do this so make sure you guys are having a habit of doing gimbal calibration now gimbal calibration is very important for after like five or six uh, times of use so we are going to uh, do a gimbal calibration for you and we are going to show you how it fixes that problem and brings the gimbal center back on alrighty guys before we even begin this video I was getting a lot of comments uh, on my last video when I said that the USB-C to headphone jack was uh, working well it is working only with an Apple USB-C to headphone jack I do not know about other headphone jacks because I bought that from the local Best Buy and it is working for me so your experience might be different but please do share in the channel what happens because there will be a lot of updates on this now what's this as you will see I take out the gimbal out of uh, you know like uh, the box and I am facing uh, that the gimbal is actually not recentering all the time now this is this video was just made not out of uh, not knowing the product uh, this video was made to show an explain or oh an explanation to all those people those who are saying that the product is not ready for the market and DJI rushed it. No, uh, now watch this. So at first, uh, you guys need to do is uh, what you guys need to do is uh, do a gimbal calibration. Now, uh, how to do a gimbal calibration? It's pretty simple, self-explanatory. You need to go to settings and do a gimbal calibration. Now, why is it so important? Because if you have been flying drones, uh, especially DJI drones or any other drone that has three axis gimbal, Autel or Parrot, uh, we all do gimbal calibration after two to three uh, weeks of use. So as you will see right now, if you are not using or if you are using, I'm really sorry, if you are using this for a long, long time and I use this every single day, sometimes it loses orientation just because it moves around in that case. There is nothing. Uh, no accessory right now that will hold the gimbal at a certain position and then you unlock it so that it remains in that certain position so uh, in this video we will show you how to do gimbal calibration now um, at first you have to make sure that you go to your settings so uh, we'll show you again uh, let's turn on the gimbal at first so we'll turn on the gimbal and after the gimbal thing has done its all stuff and everything uh, you actually need to scroll uh, from below to up so you have to scroll let me zoom in a bit yeah so you go up to down uh, swipe up to down go to settings and after you go to settings go to calibration and uh, the gimbal press that and after you press that they, they, they will ask you to put the gimbal in a flat surface right now I'm using my iPhone as a flat surface and I'll press OK give it a few seconds it usually takes around about you know like not even like it takes around about 15 seconds to do this whole thing and uh, make sure you're not touching the gimbal at all and make sure you're placing this in a flat surface uh, now you will see that the gimbal starts doing its orientation thing so it orients itself along the x y and z axis so you have to make sure you're doing this after you know like four or five days of use otherwise the gimbal will get confused once the device has calibrated uh, hit ok on it and uh, now uh, just to show you a demonstration you will see that the gimbal is going to orient itself according to the x y and the z axis sometimes it might lose calibration so you have to look go through the calibration process again uh, well this is an update that I'm probably sure DJI will do an update on this but as of right now uh, you have to uh, do this fix yourself 
Uh, there is an accessory, it's by PGY Tech. It's just a cap that sits on the top. I think that will be the fix uh, for this whole gimbal situation. So um, again, uh, you'll be seeing that the gimbal now works perfectly fine and uh, you will not face any sort of problem. So make sure guys you're doing the gimbal calibration and everything because if you do not do gimbal calibration, it will again uh, go into a different orientation. Uh, well, uh, that's pretty much it from the channel. It's a very, very small tutorial and I try to keep it very uh, small and simple so that you guys can understand how to do the gimbal calibration on this one. Again, um, what will happen in the future, I do not know. This is a everyday process, whatever I'm learning, whatever I'm seeing, I'm sharing with you guys. So if you like this video, give me a big, big thumbs up, like and do subscribe.